Hello again. So we're going to get started with our next micro lecture. This one is speed versus velocity. We're not going to talk about the uh, equations or the kind of calculation of them today. We're just going to talk about them as ideas. That's what conceptually means. Remember, this is a micro lecture, so it's going to be short. Three or more bullet points worth of notes is required to get full credit, as well as a summary of one to two sentences. And you need to do the follow-up question on the Google form, unless your teacher tells you to do it somewhere else. So I know in the outside world or in like not in a physics classroom, you can say speed and you can say velocity and people pretty much agree they mean the same thing. In physics, they're very similar, but they actually mean two different things. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. Before we get to that, I just want to remind you of the difference between vectors and scalars. And I'll explain why in a second. So vectors are have magnitude and direction. That means they have a number such as 22 in the units and then the direction such as east. Uh, or they can be an arrow like this and tell you the direction and either the size of the arrow, like physically the length of it, or the number next to it can give you the magnitude. Scalars, on the other hand, are just magnitude, um, which means they just have the size and the units in this case. So the reason why I remind you of that is because velocity is a vector and speed is a scalar. Both of them describe how fast things are going, but they do so in slightly differently. And we'll talk about it. So velocity is a vector, which means it has both magnitude and it has direction. What that means is we have 22 miles per hour, but you also need the east, or 0.5 meters per second, but you also need the north, or 20, sorry, 60 kilometers per hour, but you also need the direction west. Alternatively, you can add in a arrow like this and tell what the magnitude of the direction is. Speed, on the other hand, is just the magnitude, which means 22 miles per hour, or 0.5 meters per second, or 60 kilometers per hour. But notice here we're missing the directions. The direction doesn't matter in that sense. If you think about a speedometer in your car, it doesn't tell you what direction you're going. It basically just says, hey, you're going 50 miles an hour. If you wanted a velocimeter or whatever that equivalent would be, it would have to combine both the direction you're going with the speed you are going. So with velocity, if either the direction or the magnitude change, then the velocity changes. With speed, if the, it doesn't matter if the direction changes. You can go any direction and it's still the same speed if you're still going the same like 55 miles per hour. So to give you an example here, if we have a car that goes around a track here, if they're going a constant speed of 100 miles per hour as they go around this turn, when they start at point A, they have a velocity, um, 100 miles per hour in this direction, let's say to the right. But as they turn, even if they're still going 100 miles per hour, their velocity is constantly changing to the point where they get to B, and now their velocity is 100 miles per hour left instead of right. Alternatively, you could say negative 100 miles per hour left, or negative 100 miles per hour versus positive 100 miles per hour down here. Um, it, Basically, you just need to indicate a direction in some sort. Speed, however, stays the same. It could go around the track a million times, and it would be the same speed the entire time, assuming it was always the 100 miles per hour. If the car dropped to 99, then it would be a new speed. It would also still be a new velocity as well. That's it for differentiating between velocity, or sorry, vectors and so not vectors and scalars. Velocity and speed. Remember to do three bullet points worth of notes, one to two sentence summary, and you need to do the follow-up question on the Google form.